Fleischman is in trouble. Yeah. Fleischman is in trouble. Oh boy, is that the truth? <laughs> Fleischman is in Trouble is about a New York City doctor who is trying to feel out his first summer of post-divorce relationship freedom. Why would you want to leave here? Everybody wants to leave the city when it gets hot, but that's actually a mistake. Nothing beats summer in the city. What the show displays so wonderfully is that Toby's perspective on his marriage from his point of view seems completely defensible and pitiable. Money doesn't buy you happiness. Oh, Toby, of course it does. Toby's relationship with Rachel is like an implantation that, that never took, like an organ that was rejected by the social family. Do you understand how hurtful it is that this is what's important to you? You're screaming. I did not become a doctor to get rich, okay? I did it to live a meaningful life. We see a bit of their marriage and how contentious it was. I don't even have time to get a divorce. And so they end up fighting all the time, and then they split up, and our story begins when Toby reconnects with some of his old friends that he met in his college years. Marriage is for suckers. Fleischman is in trouble, tries very hard to be an honest look at the end of a marriage where values collide. I think we should get a divorce. And middle age makes us restless. I feel like I'm not alive. You chose this! The narrator of the book, as well as the show, is Libby Epstein, who has some similarities to Taffy, the creator of the show and the writer of the book. I'm getting out of a 15-year marriage to a woman who wouldn't let me pee standing up. I have, I have some healing to do. I think that any book that is both very hilarious and also stabs you right where you don't really want to be stabbed, you don't come across those very often, and we're definitely trying to do that with the show. I cannot believe that this is where life has deposited you. I think the show takes a completely novel approach because you're watching the story of a recently divorced guy dating for the first time and kind of struggling in New York. Is she still gone? I'm starting to think that it hasn't really gone this long, you know? What if something has happened to her? I think everybody who has gotten to a certain point in their lives has wondered exactly how they got here. And that's the question that Fleischman is in trouble asks. When we get married, we really have no way to fully understand what forever means. The tone is specific and rare, and it's really funny. We just saw Rachel. <laughs> is in trouble. It's one of these shows and one of these stories that is like very specifically New York. I cannot believe we got to shoot in New York. Sometimes we are outside on a New York City sidewalk that I have walked a million times from the time I was born. And I cannot believe that that block will be memorialized inside the show. No, I can't believe how much I like him. There's something about New York, like, it makes it more comfortable for me. You're forced into a relationship with all these people around you. We had the night of our lives, did we not? Or could not, too. That was like a Monday for me. Oh, my God. I live in crazy New York City, so it's a real treat to be able to work so locally to sleep in my own bed. I'm right. I don't have any rules. We shot the first weekend Toby and Rachel spent together in their 20s. And they walk through the Sheep's Meadow and Central Park together in this beautiful foggy morning. And Claire Danes just does a cartwheel. And then they race each other across the Sheep's Meadow. And the buildings in the background... I can't believe how lucky we are. Taffy is a genius. If the finished episodes are half as good as the scripts, then I think we've done a great job. Are you still going to therapy? No, the yeah, absolutely like my therapy. She's just like the ideal creator. She's also incredibly collaborative. I was just so delighted that she was so aware enough by virtue of her knowing so much about the entertainment industry to know how the process works and to be so unbelievably smart to figure out the stuff that she didn't know right away. I'm sorry, you know, I thought it would be over and I, would, I wouldn't think about her anymore, but like my brain keeps remembering everything, like, like trying to determine if I could have seen this coming. I literally can't stop thinking about her. I feel allowed to go in and play hard because she writes hard. Enough about therapy. Toby, I don't need therapy. What I need is help with this baby. I wrote this book and I just ended up sitting in this director's chair surrounded by 150 of the greatest people. It's a dream. So the same thing happens at the same time, but someone else observes it at a different angle. It's like a different perspective. But they're both reality.